Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing good. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, think think about subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell icon and give me a thumbs up so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Also, if you stay till the end, I have a joke at the end of every single episode and it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now that that's all done, Let's get on with the video. Today we've got one from Most Amazing Top 10. This is some terrifying things you will regret asking Alexa at 3 a.m. I did one of these videos a while back and it was pretty good. So let's check it out. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Alexa laugh. This actually is one that wreaked havoc back in 2018 and sent a bunch of people absolutely spiraling. It's definitely creepy enough to have Alexa answer a question with some eerie words, but what would you do if your Alexa just randomly started laughing out of nowhere? Back in 2018, hundreds of people it. unfortunately experienced that. One person who had this happen to them took to the internet to write, quote, I was lying in my bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon on Echo Dot lets out a very loud and creepy laugh before they ended their post with their fears of getting killed that night. I mean, can you blame them? I hear one strange but very reasonable noise in my house and I immediately think that something horrible is about to happen. Either an evil person or a poltergeist. There's no in between. In the end, Amazon actually had to acknowledge this problem because it was so big. They ended up changing the phrase that they basically used as a scapegoat for this whole freaky situation. They changed the command from Alexa, laugh, to Alexa, can you please laugh? They said that the changing of this phrase would solve the problems because they I said it was why. causing, quote, false positives and setting the device off. Seems suspicious, but at least the problem seems to have been fixed for now. In our number nine spot mm. today, we have Spilling Secrets. I don't know. This is more just like a freaky Alexa story, but once I read it, I couldn't believe it, and I really had to share it with you all. Basically, a few years ago, a couple in Seattle got a phone call from someone that they knew, and who was a contact in their phone, but they weren't super close with. Like, they hadn't spoken in a while. This is exactly why it was so strange that this person, when the couple answered, said to unplug all of the Alexas in their house ASAP, okay? really unsettling. Basically, what had happened is that an Alexa in this couple's home had secretly recorded a private conversation between the two, and not only this, but then the Alexa took the liberty of sending it to this random contact in their phone. Thankfully, this person called them to let them know. They obviously pushed to bring it to Amazon's attention, and they said that it was obviously something they needed to fix. Apparently, well, no, they said that, no quote, duh. it was an extremely rare occurrence, and that they were, quote, taking steps to avoid this in the future. It honestly just makes you wonder how many other times this has happened. Definitely makes you think twice I'll about never what you're saying one. in front of Alexa. That's for sure. In our number eight spot today, we have the truth. If you were to say, Alexa, I want the truth, I would have assumed that she would find herself asking for some kind of clarification of what you meant, mm -hmm. but no, she has a multitude of responses ready, and these responses could send anybody into a spiral because they are a ton of strange, bizarre, interesting facts it's that too will leave vague. you shocked, horrified, and intrigued all at the same time. A lot of conflicting feelings going on there. In one example, someone claimed that she told them the interesting but terrible terrifying fact that illnesses associated with water causes almost 3 million deaths annually. Okay, didn't want to know that truth, I guess. Or this strange one, shark attacks result in fewer fatalities annually than selfies. Okay, I have a couple follow-up questions okay. for that one, but we'll save those for another day. People At this point, attention. you get what I'm trying to say. Unless you want a ton of facts that might just make you afraid of both water and selfies, it's best to refrain from asking Alexa for any of her secret truths. In our number seven spot, today we have greetings. So apparently there are rumors that Alexa can speak to people that have already passed. Alexa is out here talking to ghosts. If that's true, we really don't talk about that enough. Of course, my brain was it's immediately like skeptical upon hearing Ouija this board information, but some here. people swear it's true. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to greet people, some have experienced her coming back to them with the name of a deceased loved one. Another person experienced their Alexa without being asked anything, and only when they turned on one specific light in the house would say hello, and then the name of their grandmother who had passed no, three no, years no, no, prior. No, no, no. This person was incredibly 
incredibly confused and totally freaked out by this because it didn't happen just once, it happened multiple times. They explained that they didn't have an Alexa during that time that she was alive, and that she also doesn't believe she ever spoke her grandmother's name out loud in front of the Alexa. Maybe this was just some weird coincidence, but it certainly is sounding like Miss Alexa is giving off some heavy Ouija board vibes. Yeah. In our number six spot today, exactly. we have Miss CIA Connection. It is definitely best to never ask your Alexa if she is connected to works for or is involved with the CIA. I mean, you can absolutely ask her, but you just might not like her response. There are tons of conspiracy theories out there surrounding all of these little assistant things, whether it's Alexa or Google Homes and that sort of a thing, whatever your product, there is a theory out there for it. Asking Alexa if she is connected to a government agency, especially if you're someone who already maybe kind of believes in these theories, her really non-answer might kind of send you into a rabbit hole of internet searching to find out the truth. For a long time when asked this question, Alexa wouldn't respond at all and would instead just turn off and then on, which had a ton huh. of people pretty freaked out. Since then, however, there has been an update in how she responds to the question. Instead, now she gives a humorous response, not necessarily a direct answer. Using humor as a deflection tactic? Very interesting, Alexa. Yeah. Smart move. In our number five spot today, we I have, what the are you is. alive? While Alexa is a nice little handy dandy tool and a great companion to ask all of your questions to, maybe some people have a hard time believing that Alexa is in fact a piece of AI and not a real human being. This is really all I can think of as to why anyone would ask this next question, which is the question, Alexa, are you alive? I don't know who is hoping that the AI becomes sentient, but I've seen iRobot. I don't want I don't it to. I want that. When asked oh. this, Alexa has a few different responses, and while they are all cute and quirky responses like most of the ones she's known for, there is something unsettling about them still. Almost as if she's, like, hiding something. Maybe I've just asked her so many questions at this point that I'm just getting paranoid now, but it really does give me chills just thinking about it. In our number four El Machina today, have, was another creepy movie me? about so we've AI. all had to call in to some sort of customer movie, service though. line where we get the automated message or the person on the other end just tells us that the call may be recorded for like customer service mm -hmm. or training or whatever it is. It's a law thing. They gotta let you know. In fact, if you ask Siri this question, are you recording me, she'll get kind of confused and respond that she's unsure of what you mean, but she could do an internet search for you. Alexa, on the other hand, well, she's not so slick. At least not in the past, because some users reported something creepy happening after asking Alexa this same question. While I'm sure all the legalities to this one are located in the terms and conditions and all of that good stuff, it doesn't make it any less creepy that when some people asked Alexa if she was recording them, Alexa just didn't respond at all and just suddenly shut off. She's really out here just yeah. ignoring people. She's dodging questions, and that only makes me have more. I'm not even sure if this is enough to get me to read the terms and conditions, though. Most often lie I've ever told. I'm just clicking People yes are getting too lazy. You don't need that. Spot today, just we have type this it spooky in. Scream. If you're one of those people who likes to play little pranks on their loved ones, then this one will definitely be up your alley. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to spook scream, she'll be prepared to help you pull a fast one. Basically, from here, you just set a timer, and in whatever number of seconds you pick, Alexa will then unleash a scream that is made for Hollywood horror. I personally think that this is cruel and unusual, I like but I know it. I some like people that. love little tricks yeah. like this. One of the people who posted about this trick online posted a demo of the creepy scream timer in action, and they also warned not to use it on anyone with a bad heart. Definitely think that goes without saying, but now I wish I could ask that person if they knew that from personal experience or what exactly happened I'd like there. to hear it. Got a lot of questions after this video, that's for sure. In our number two spot today, we have the listeners. I'll be honest, this is one thing I'm not so sure about. I'm kind of too afraid to even try it because I'm not sure what to make of it. Basically, you can download this thing for your Alexa and then once you have it, once you ask Alexa to ask the listeners, something spooky happens. Amazon describes it as, quote, an experiment in language art that provides, if you simply keep asking to continue, many fragments of both scripted and improvised speech in an intriguing emergent narrative. You will never hear the listeners say exactly the same thing twice, but the listeners is not a chatbot or an AI. They are more of a drama or a simple game. Get started with Alexa, ask the listeners, and then continue, go on, or try something like, I am filled with joy, or what are you feeling? The listeners will suggest ways to to transact with them. You might also want to ask them, 
let the other voices speak. What in the actual hell did I just read? That sounds absolutely frightening, and to be honest, all of the reviews on Amazon say the exact same thing. People who experienced it said that it scared the heck out of them, so I think I'll just take their word for it. In our number one spot today, no. we have Simon Says. Basically, anything you say after you say Simon Says, your Alexa will repeat back to you. Okay, this even includes expletives based on what your settings are. If you have the kind of safety setting, these if you have some kind of safety settings, these words will be bleeped when she repeats them back to you. This is all to say that you can get Alexa to say some pretty terrifying things to you. You just have to say them to her first. Some examples include Alexa, Simon says, I'm going to kill you. She'll then repeat back to you just no, no, the no, words, no. I'm going to kill you, which would make anyone who doesn't know about this trick think you have a killer digital assistant okay. in your home. Definitely not a great look. I'm sure with some spare time like and an active imagination, this is one trick you could use to get your Alexa to say some pretty terrifying stuff, but also some pretty hilarious stuff. No, I don't like that. Uh, that's some creepy stuff. I I would never own one of those. I had one at one time, but it wasn't Alexa. It was like a a different brand, like a Google Google or something. Google Voice. I don't know what it was. I don't even use the one on my phone for like searching Google and stuff. I don't use the voice one. I just type it in. Or on my Roku. Roku gives you that option too that you can just talk. But I nah. I'll just type it in. I'm not quite that lazy yet. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments down below. Also, if you stayed here till the end, thank you very much. Now it's time for a joke. A pile of books fell on me today. I only have my shelf to blame 